We're talking about jets, baby. Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I would love to make a jetpack. Imagine you could just like fly with a jetpack. Now the thing is, making a jetpack would cost quite a bit of money. So first step is for you guys to keep watching my videos so I can get monetized. And once this YouTube channel starts cash flowing, potentially we can make a jetpack. Now if you've been watching my videos, you know I made a jet scooter, so I have two jets. Now obviously two jets is not enough to lift a person, but what I could figure out is how many jets would I need? How much weight does one jet lift? Would I even want to build a jetpack? Yeah, of course I want to build a jetpack. I mean, who would not want to build a jetpack is the question. So step number one, figure out how much weight one of these jets can lift and then just do the math. But just to give you an example of the power of one of these jets, I'm just gonna plug one in so you can see what it looks like. Now I'm not exactly sure how to demonstrate the how much wind these things can blow. I mean, Now that was just one jet. Let's try two jets. <laughs> hey, side note guys, my channel is like close to being monetized, okay? What that means, if a thousand people watch this video, all you guys need to do is go watch like two of my other videos. That's it. Easy peasy. You know what I mean? My YouTube channel gets monetized and then I can build like a jetpack, guys. Come on. Don't you want to see a jetpack? Come on. Who does not want to see the jetpack is a question. I think you guys get the point. Now, something to keep in mind is that these jets, obviously to lift off the ground, are going to have to lift their batteries and the speed controller as well and the plastic. Now the thing is, you don't need a battery this big to power one of these jets. I mean, this one battery right here weighs over a pound and a half. All right, so I took my mom's baking scale and uh, this is what we're going to use. It's like super precise. Like, look at that, super precise. So this is going to give us our measurement for the amount of thrust that one of these can produce. Let's set it up. All right, so since I don't have a smaller battery, which is the same size that's meant for that jet, what I'm gonna do is figure out how much thrust it has without the battery, and then I'm gonna go on Amazon, find a smaller version of this, which would give us like three minutes of flight with a jetpack, and just use the weight in the description of the Amazon product, whatever. Find the weight and use that weight instead of this because this is just massive. All right, so we're gonna tear this weight. It's got the battery on there, so it's gonna take it back to zero. And then we'll add the battery in later. We'll find one on Amazon. And I'll set this jet on here. All right, so at the end, we're gonna subtract from the total thrust 0 0.902. So the number that resulted from that test with uh, using these cans right here, having it sitting between, it worked out to like a negative number. The jets can't even lift themselves like by quite a bit. And uh, these are the cheaper jets, which is fine, but I just feel like it's too far off from the manufacturer spec. So I'm going to quickly hot glue together a mount that holds it further away from the scale. So Lots of air can come up underneath and then also take all this red plastic off. Try it again, see what happens, and then get the calculation for how many would we need and how much would it cost. All right, so here's the setup. I got the batteries up here. It's on these longer stilts, so now there should be plenty of airflow to come up. Now we're gonna see if it does more than, I think it was 1.073. I'm gonna see if it does more than that. Here we go. Wow, that was a lot more. Okay, so it had 2.5 pounds approximately of force on this scale. So now I'm going to grab a speed controller and we are going to get the weight of that, 0 0.230. And then as far as the battery, uh, I'm just gonna Google one. It'd give us about a minute and a half to two minutes of runtime with smaller batteries like this. Obviously using this size of battery is not practical because this thing weighs like two pounds itself. So I'm gonna put the fan on there itself and then for mounting, you could probably get away with just making a whole mount out of just that piece right there worth of weight. I deducted the weight of the battery that was online. Okay, so based on that, I got some information here. So each EDF fan, which stands for electric ducted fan, has a maximum thrust of about two and a half pounds. I subtracted the speed controller, the battery, and the fan itself. Also including a little bit of plastic because you have to mount it on yourself. And after all of that, it could lift its own weight with the battery and the speed controller plus about 1.33 pounds. And now I weigh around like 150 pounds, but I think 175 pounds worth of liftoff force would be enough because it'd give you a little bit extra so you could get off the ground 
and have enough to lift up, you know, decently quick, I think. So we divide 175 pounds by how much each jet can lift, and it gives us the number of 132 jets. So I would basically need 132 jets to take off, off the ground, you know, with my own weight and a little bit extra. And now I figure out the cost of each individual jet. It works out to about 100 bucks per jet, which then equals $13,200, and I could have a jetpack. Now, I don't know how I'd fit that on my body, but I almost guarantee you I could figure it out. And again, these jets are kind of small. So I Googled on Amazon some larger jets, went through all the description, got the weight, the thrust, all that, did the math, and this is what it worked out to. Well, then it turned out that you'd only need about 28 jets for 175 pounds of thrust. Only 28, and it cost you around $8,000. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, that's fine. That's good. If you want, you can like the video as well. But the point is, send this video to a friend. I don't care if they even watch it. Just text them the video. Press share, text. Boom, share, text. Share, text. Share it, boom, text, boom, whatever. And then my YouTube channel can be monetized, okay? And now that my YouTube channel is monetized, now that, <laughs> come on, you already did it, right? Did you do it? You did? Oh, that's awesome. You can do it, I believe in you. I will see you guys in the next video, or you will see me in the next video. Peace out.